This may be the first lie sin loves to tell. It'll say about sin, it doesn't matter. The uh, Puritan preacher John Owen in his book on the mortification of sin says this. He says, sin, how does sin ensnare us? He said, well, sin is modest, as it were, in its first motions and proposals. But having once got footing in the heart by them, it constantly makes good ground and presses on. So the end goal of sin is always death, but that's not its first request. No, its first requests are usually small. You know, just be angry, it's fine. Just be self-righteous. You deserve it. You were right. Just be occasionally false. When it's convenient and relieves, it's what they want to hear anyway. It makes modest first proposals. Now, it, that, but just because its first proposals are modest doesn't mean it's changed the goal. It just knows how to start. That's, that's part of how it lies to you. But don't be fooled. Sin wants you dead. Dead in any way it can. Relationally, emotionally, spiritually, intellectually, morally. It'll chop off anything it can. And so if it can come in and begin to dull your senses to things, to numb you to what is right and wrong, that's a death it's happy to sow. If it can bring dishonesty into your relationships and begin to put space between people so you are relationally dead to the people who should have been a life-giving part of you, it's happy to take you there one little step at a time. But don't be deceived. Sin is never happy to just take that one little step and hang out. Its goal is you die. If you live according to the flesh, you will die. Just because you've not fallen into the pit yet doesn't mean the cancer hasn't already taken root. You'll hear it everywhere in our culture. This is how we talk about behavior. It doesn't hurt, harm anyone. Why are you all upset about it?